Good morning. I'm Marla Ellerman and I'm publisher of Mobile Marketing and Technology Online. We're here at Transact with Mark Schulze, who's co-founder of Clover Technologies. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. Good. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, since the last time I met with you guys, I think you came out with some new products. We started with the Clover product and now we have a couple new products, but tell me about um, how you started the company and then First Data bought you and purchased you and now you have a full line of products. So let's go over, let's just talk about that. Sure. Yeah, we started the company about four years ago and we, we did it in response to really listening to merchants. Uh, merchants were tired of uh, kind of the old, older legacy system, PC based systems, they tended to be server based, not cloud based, they tend to be very pricey, and they also tended to get locked in to uh, not, not able to expand with the future. And merchants knew, they, they see the revolution in technology and phones and computers in your car and you know even the, the you know, things like the Nest thermostat, they knew that they should be able to get something better at a lower cost. And so that's when we decided to build Clover. So we started with the Clover Station, Clover's a 11.2 inch uh, Android tablet that we build. Uh, it's a full point of sale system, uh, comes with a cash drawer, receipt printer, Ethernet capabilities, cloud capabilities, TransArmor encryption. So it's really a full set for what, what merchants are looking for. But it also has the addition of an app marketplace. So just as your iPhone can be expanded by downloading additional apps and you can do more with it, you can do the same thing with point of sale. So merchants can feel confident on any of the Clover products that it's open for the future. Uh, the two new products we've, we've come out with is not every merchant needs a full point of sale. So to ensure that we can serve all merchant needs, we've We've also come out with the Clover mobile device, which is behind us, and the Clover Mini device. Uh, Clover Mini is a, uh, it can be just a terminal, so if a mer merchant just wants a terminal with a built-in receipt printer, NSC capabilities, Apple Pay capabilities, and be ready for the EMV transition that, as we all know, is coming in October, they can get just the terminal and they can do all those things. Uh, but at any time, if they want to upgrade the terminal to a full point of sale, they just go into the app market and they upgrade. Okay, so before we do a demo, I have a couple of questions to ask. So as a merchant, um, I can start with the mini and then uh, as my business grows, I can expand and just buy another piece of equipment and the software just runs seamlessly? Uh, if, if, if a merchant buys a mini or a mobile, they don't even, if they want to upgrade to a full POS, they don't even have to buy a new piece of equipment. The, the devices can be customer facing, they could be merchant facing. Uh, 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 if, if a merchant's not sure what they need, it, all merchants need to upgrade to EMV. It's a very important transition that's happening. And so if a merchant wants to make sort of an easy decision, it's very easy just to get Mini because it's open for the future. It has a robust app platform. It accepts all types of payments. It accepts EMV. It, it, it allows merchants to be EMV and compliant. But if they want to accept a new loyalty program or they want to uh, get that new food order ahead service, all that is available in the app market and they can go upgrade to it at any time just through a software download. What about security? I mean, are these products secured? Every Everybody's so worried about a breach. Uh, tell me if it's you know, and if everything's online, is there issues with that? Uh, security is a paramount concern for First Data and for Clover, uh, and there's been a tremendous amount of work to ensure that the merchants are secure. And these devices, in particular, they use TransArmor encryption. And so what that means is when a card is dipped or swiped, either EMV or magnetic stripe, it's encrypted at the mag head, and it's the the number is never active in any of the Clover systems. So even if one of these devices were breached somehow. There's no the information that they're able to gather would be would be useless because it's encrypted. Uh, that credit card number goes to a secure facility at First Data for decryption and only only and so it, it does offer a lot of protection. Uh, in most cases, these devices take merchants out of out of scope for for PCI. Um, in it, in it, one other thing I might add on these is that since these are Android tablets of our design, we've actually uh, locked them down uh, much more than, say, a typical iPad or a typical Android tablet. Uh, we have full control of the operating system. Uh, all the ports have microcontrollers on them, so we can ensure that you know uh, foreign hardware can't be plugged in. Uh, we've done. Uh, uh, we've had a really, really strong focus on security, as it's so important to our merchants and so important to us. And I know that because uh, I've demoed the product before. Um, you have a really strong uh, analytic and inventory tool that's in the back. And as a merchant, I can. Can I log in from my home PC to check at any time what's going on at my storefront? 
Yep, one of the real benefits of having it cloud enabled is uh, all merchants can go to clover.com and they can look how their sales are going. They can see if their employees have clocked in or clocked out. They can download hours. Uh, they can see real time receipts, redemptions. They can do research. If someone said, you know, uh, can you get me a copy of the receipt? They can do that from their home PC. We had a really interesting anecdote a little while ago. A merchant called and uh, we were going to do a sort of a merchant follow up. And she called us from France and she was so excited. And we, we and after she spoke to us for a little while, she said, you, you may not realize this, but this is the first vacation I've taken in 10 years. And I feel comfortable leaving my coffee shop because I feel like I have control here from my hotel in Paris. I can log in, I can see if you know Bob opened the store on time, I can see how sales are going. And I can just place a phone call if I see anything wrong. Uh, before, I had to call and ask how things are doing, and maybe maybe the right people weren't available. So it really puts merchants in control. That's great. Well, let's go through a quick demo of these products. Yeah, so this is the uh, Clover mobile device. You can see it's made to be ergonomics, designed to be held uh, for long periods of time. It has a two chargers on the bottom, so it charges with standard USB. It has a barcode reader right here, so for easy inventory and things like that. Uh, it also, there's a couple things to show you here. The first, uh, it sits quite nicely. It's mm -hmm. also hardened for merchant use. There's a case built in so you can drop it. Uh, you can drop it. Uh, we actually designed that in. Most cases are not particularly attractive. We made this one to be attractive. Okay. Uh, it can do two things. You can be a full cash register. So as you can see here, people can buy things. You can go ahead and So I'm going to go ahead and pay. Okay. And what's neat about this is there's a couple methods to pay. You can pay cash. Uh, if you were a if you had a kitchen printer, for example, that order would have been sent to the kitchen printer automatically. If you had a cold printer that's going to a bar, that could be sent up automatically. So you can have your staff at the table taking orders. You can even have them accept payments. Uh, one of the exciting things about this is it has it is EMV capable. So you can go ahead and add the card, it's now processing the card. This actually is a multiprocessor environment. It has a secure chip uh, to handle the EMV transaction and it has a, uh, a Pentium quad, I'm sorry, a, a quad core processor for the other types of transactions. But I'm in the secure zone right now. As you can see, it's a different look and feel. I can sign on screen. It says, all done, please hand back to the employee. They verify my check and then I can print a receipt on it is we also have NFC capabilities. So uh -huh. if I don't want to use EMV, if someone yeah. wants to use Apple Pay yeah. or chip card, I can just slap the screen. Wow. NFC right under the screen. A couple other features is it has a, uh, a camera right here that we have some developers using. So for example, one company's turned this into a time clock oh, feature yeah. as well. And it actually takes a picture of the person clocking in to make sure the someone who's not supposed to have clocked Perfect. in clocked in. Perfect. And definitely this is uh, with the camera, it's super cool. So then yep. you, you can really monitor your employees. Yep. And if someone wanted to walk around with this and Perfect. at a mobile event, they could. <laughs> well, that is super slick. And this is the... And this is, this is the mini product, we call it. Okay. This is designed to be a fixed station. Okay. It has a receipt printer in the back that's okay. built in. Again, this has a magnetic stripe. It has a front-facing barcode reader uh -huh. that's right here. Right. Which is a, a top of the line barcode reader, uh -huh. the, the, so you can actually just pass pass products right over the barcode reader and it will read. Okay. And it, but it starts as just again a terminal, and so okay. this again has the ability to uh, dip a card, like so. Swipe a card. You can dip a card, or swipe. you can swipe a card, or you can also tap tap nice. to pay. So if you have Apple Pay or PayPass, that's the same sort of thing. Great. Uh, this also this will as soon as we're done here. So this one also can be a full point of sale. So as I oh, mentioned, if nice. they want to, if someone wants to upgrade later, they can go ahead and come into the app market. They can download the register, and so they can use this as a full register as well. Awesome! That is so great. Well, listen, would, is there anything else you'd like to add today? Um, I. I like we're in a very exciting time. I, I think there's a lot of opportunity for merchants. I know a lot of merchants aren't excited to have to upgrade as part of the EMTV transition, but uh, it's actually going to provide uh, many, many new ways for them to run their businesses better, make more money. Uh, and it's really going to happen through our third-party developers. We've built a platform where we have hundreds of developers that are thinking how to make merchants' lives easier and how to run their businesses better, and they're integrating every day. And so through the app market, there's a there's a there's going to be a sort of a, a, an explosive growth of opportunities for merchants around their businesses better. Well, thank you so much, and it is ex an exciting time for all of us in the mobile space. Thanks for watching.